And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? No, I'd say this confirms that we're dealing with something much bigger than a stalker. So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well? Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? <sighs> no. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Damn right it does. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? <sighs> Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? We don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. It should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in a Yukata sounds wonderful. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. Dude, check out all the boots! As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san. And it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. That's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He is Lord Date Masamune, the one I drag in a potion. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Oh, 
want to make a competition out of it? I'm a pretty good shot, you know. You seem more like the brute force type, Ryuji. I think you should stick to melee weapons. I don't think we're on the same page here. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Well, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait! <gasps> lady on. you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Thanks. It means a lot hearing that from you. Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much-needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. I don't gotta try and make you feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. They've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Toho food. What are we waiting for? Charge! Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though, I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival, too. Show me how to catch goldfish. Mm. <laughs> that was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow. That's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? Oh yeah? Good to hear. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Alba campus. The CEO of Matisse is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. I'm glad you get it. And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. His name is Akira Konoe, and he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, all right? So what did he want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work.
just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It's through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Grant was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. Long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Ugh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona? But me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we gonna do? Oh, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous Phantom Thieves. Come on now, don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh! That's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. 
I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... if I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it! Yeah, it wasn't you. I'm thinking Medis probably messed with Emma somehow. Any lead you can give us would be awesome. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Huh. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Okay, looking forward to it. Oh! Yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, Humanity's Companion, 
It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is... Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. I think you could send me her code later, though. Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! That's fine. Something is amiss. going. driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be alright, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like that energy! <sighs> I have to admit, 
I'm kind of exhausted. All this time on the road is starting to get to me. This is the longest I've ever driven, so any amount of rest would help. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. Keeps me alert and motivated. Then we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage her shoulders at once and procure the finest soft-serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto? I need to apologize. What? Uh, why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? True, she does pack quite the punch in battle. Wait, how is that even relevant? You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Her mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge, Kaido, by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we nearly strip naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. This is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkiji's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. What? what? No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite! I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, will you guide us there? Mm hmm. Let's get to. This is the request. 
You're doing this one? John will like these? I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park? It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? into my bones. I've learned a valuable lesson on this journey. Sometimes you simply need to enjoy being naked. And that means what exactly? Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. They do, and, and for sure that's got nothing to do with what we just heard. Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Sophia might like it as well, though being incorporeal may pose a challenge. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Oh, the heart of mankind. Dry as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it, its enigma grows deeper still. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that hard stuff. Does she not endeavor to become humanity's companion? Perhaps she wishes to uncover the workings of the heart in order to achieve this. Uh, yeah, what you said. She seems pretty dead set on it, too. 
If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, he's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? Whoa, that sounds good, too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We are in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. To appreciate it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the udder, the way farmers have done for millennia. Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. All right. Body and mind refreshed. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Huh? You have a phone call from Zenkichi. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a ball. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Zenkichi's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for it. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the Monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? I'm assuming she has connections within the Force, so it may be unwise to provoke her. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody's suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So, what do you make of all this? Bingo. And that's where you come in. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, Kyoto's gonna be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Possibly. Sorry, let's put that aside for now. Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey, should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? She's an important part of our investigation now. All right. You two have something you want to share? You made a deal with the 
the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medis, actually. Wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medis. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo-jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Uh... Mm-hmm. At least say something! I don't need your pity. You're the one bringing it up. Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the 10th, and I'm counting on you to be there. I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island and an important cultural property. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? This flower is completely wilted! How could you overlook this? Ma'am, I'm so sorry! It's just, this summer's been much hotter than last year. Spare me your excuses! This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't much longer. Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this! You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. Then that's what I'll do, Mayor. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Well, oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? You're... Haru-chan! Huh? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hyodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Hyodo? She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic! Oh, could it be... your Mari-san? Yes, yes! Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? 
Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. And she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Some freaking coincidence. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh. Please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once! I'm on it! Way they all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see it. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day, but do let me know if there's any way I can help you. <sighs> sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two faced. Mari san. You used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? I don't know. We just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was... preoccupied. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyoto and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Mm-hmm. Wanna head back? Mm-hmm. What should I get? I've been waiting for you. It's however, the shadow of calamity creeps ever closer to your path. Please bear this in mind. I only know that an evil is worming its way into being, though I know not its true nature. As for the topic at hand, I summoned you here to notify you about your power of the wild card. The number of personas you can maintain has increased due to your growth. Your potential to wield multiple personas comes with endless possibilities. Hone this power alongside the companions with whom you've formed unbreakable bonds, and prepare for the coming calamity. Whatever else you may need, I'm here for you. Hello, Trickster. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. You lack the power needed. I'm sure you are all aware of the prior corruption that plagued our city council. Make no mistake, 
No one is more ashamed than I. As such, the ethics bill I propose will leave no more room for corruption to rear its ugly head. With your support, I will make this city of Sapporo a beautiful, stainless paradise. Like fresh snow on a midwinter's day. Together, let us turn our home into a beacon of light to the world, where both citizens and government leaders radiate truth and purity. Now, everyone, let's clean Sapporo up! We're on it, Mayor Hyoto! Mayor, that was incredible! Holy shit! It's like we stepped into a cult! Her popularity is unbelievable. Do you think everyone here had their hearts changed? Crowds have a tendency to attract people. I imagine some of them came of their own volition. Haru. <sighs> Look. Yodo has her phone out. She's gonna say it. Are you ready? I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma, yes? I'm also no stranger to technology. So please feel free to add me. For those of you listening outside Sapporo, outside Hokkaido, or even outside the country, this invitation extends to each of you as well. The keyword is Snow City. Well, there you have it. The whole audience is friending her. Shouldn't we be stopping her right now? No. Causing a scene here would only draw unwanted attention. I hate to say it, but all we can do for now is watch. We can at least be glad we got the keyword. Now we can infiltrate Yoda's jail anytime we like. The smell here in Suzushino isn't too strong. Getting inside the jail won't be a problem. So the preparations have been made. Then let's go, everyone. If Mari-san really is the monarch, only we can stop her. We can't let her toy with the hearts of innocent people. True that. All right, then let's ready up and begin infiltration. Shit! <laughs> 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 